I mean, look at the conversation we're having right now. You know, like you're certainly willing to risk offending me in the pursuit of truth. Why should you have the right to do that? It's been rather uncomfortable. Uh, you've connected a lot with a lot of young men, lots of different people, but young men yeah. particularly seem to, you know, find something in your message. Yeah. I'm a young man. I'd like ah. to be improved, please. Yeah. I want to stop being a pathetic weasel. Yeah, that would be good. Clean up your room. I don't know how you can go out and protest the structure of the entire economic system if you can't keep your room organized. What are the limits of that idea, though? Because you can have a lovely clean room, yeah. but if for my generation, you know, we're looking down the barrel of climate change, we can't afford a house, some people can't get work, university education's unaffordable, like there are these huge massive problems in society and the political economy that are also going to, you know, screw us over in the big picture that the clean room isn't going to necessarily fix. If you're going to fix complicated problems, you have to learn how to fix simple problems first. I want to know, what is your answer uh, to young people for some of the really big uh, uh, problems facing humanity, like the, you know, climate catastrophe, like economic crisis, like the precarious job market, because they just don't, like, you talk all this much about uh, individual responsibility. Most of us are never going to be able to afford uh, to have all of these assets to have responsibility over. So what is your advice beyond banal comments like clean your room? It's actually rather difficult to answer a question that ends with your comments are banal politely. I would consider that more of an opinionated personal and political statement than actually a question. So why don't you try reformulating that so that there's an actual question there. A trans woman is a real woman. <laughs> I don't really like the way those questions are formulated. You know, I don't know what that means. What do you mean a real woman? Well, she I'm asking you, in your mind, you know, it depends what you think a real woman is, but do you think a trans woman is a woman? No. Why not? Because I think that women are capable, generally speaking, of having babies and they have female genitalia and they have an XX chromosome and, and I think the biological markers are relevant. I'm interested in people being able to have different choices and, um, and having equality of outcome. Aha, well so, the overwhelming proportion of people who are in prisons are male. Now do you want to equalize that, just out of curiosity? I what about bricklayers? They're 99% male. And, the, and we've got about three quarters of, of the population now in universities mm -hmm. in the humanities and social sciences are female. Yeah. Are we going to equalize that? And well, men, men work more longer hours. They work more dangerous jobs. They're more likely to move. They're more likely to work outside. They're more likely to participate in jobs in the STEM fields that are scalable. They make more money for those reasons. And that's all hidden under the idea that the reason that men and women make different amounts of money is because of their gender. Pearson, do you have any comments on the Nazi presence at your protest? The presence of Nazis and white supremacists assaulting people at your protest. Do you have any comment on that? Yeah, I don't like Nazis. So. Well, that's, deb that's highly debatable. That's highly debatable. Actually, I mean, one it's of the absolutely true because there's never been a secular humanist government on the planet. I don't know. I think the Soviets were pretty secular No, humanist. they... <laughs> then, well, I know with, the with, all, with all due apologies, you do not know the first thing about what secular humanism is. You should read the secular humanist man. I'm, I'm very glad I put you on the spot. <laughs> well, well, I'm very glad that I have no, you get my, my point. Speech. You get my point. It's like... You're, you're doing what you should do, which is digging a bit to see what the hell's going on. So and that you, is what you should do. But I you're exercising you think... your freedom of speech to certainly risk offending me. And that's fine. I think more power to you as far as I'm concerned.